Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, 3X Wrestling's All-Stars of the Midwest, Brady A. Desire, joining me, Jeremy Jacobs, here at the... Can you not get it right? It is Brady A. Desire, the voice of 3X well, I, Wrestling. I gave you top billing this time, so we got that... I, I don't know if I can work like this. Anyways, what we saw at the end of the last week's episode, a backstage confrontation, basically, between Mark Sterling and Showtime Bradley Charles is... SBC, has he been on the phone with Sterling? Is Sterling the one making these phone calls? Is he involved? Is Sterling the investor? There's just so much up in the air right now. So much confusion going on as far as the future of 3X Wrestling. Yeah, you know, I tried getting in touch with Bradley Charles. We've got my private investigator looking into his phone records to see if we can find out where these calls are coming from. We've got a huge show on top of this controversy. We've got Devin Thomas taking on Reginald Stevenson the third. We've got for the first time ever, uncensored with ravishing Ryan Slade. His guest will be Mad Dog McDowell. They're gonna talk about some issues here between Mad Dog possibly purposely injuring uh, Jimmy Rockwell. You and I have gone back and forth on this. I don't think Mad Dog has a mean streak in that body. There's no way that injuries were intentional. You know, Hearsay, hearsay, whatever you want to call. The fact of the matter is that Mark Mad Dog McDowell injured Jimmy Rockwell. Plain and simple, the video does not lie. The video evidence is there, I guess, depending on how you look at it. Also coming up, we've got Devin Carter taking on Brandon Bennett, a very impressive newcomer here, taking on a 3X wrestling veteran. But first and foremost, we've got Craig Kieseman, the Viking warrior, the center of all this investor controversy taking on a member of the Pierce family and Big Nate Red Wing. Big Nate Red Wing is my star of 2015 here in 3XW. I have gone on record many times saying that this man will be the 3XW heavyweight champion by the end of the year. He's got a big task ahead of him. Let's take you to ringside. He Another one of my guys of 3XW, Nate Red Wing, the big man, the hoss of the highway, the big man Nate Red Wing. If I were starting my own promotion, Nate Red Wing would be the first guy I call. This Red man Wing. will be 3XW champion by the end of the year, and you can take that to the bank. Red Wing, obviously a huge talent. But I disagree with him aligning himself with the slime ball Skylar Pierce. You know, you can disagree with him aligning himself with Skylar Pierce, but before Skylar Pierce, how many 3XW championship matches did he have? Zero. He's with Skylar Pierce the very next month. He comes within seconds of beating Jeremy White and becoming the 3XW Heavyweight Champion last month. Oh, what's going on now? Here comes Todd, our commissioner. I'm assuming he has another message or well, an envelope to deliver. He's got all the business in the world to be down here. For one, it's his company. He's the commissioner. He oversees everything that goes on inside that ring. The messenger, and I can't help but send the message you're getting in those envelopes. But what I can do as commissioner, Red Wing, Kieselman, whoever is the winner of this match here tonight will receive a 3X Wrestling Pure Wrestling Championship title match March 6th, right here at the Dorn Social Club. Bombshell of an announcement. The winner of this match will face whoever the 3X Wrestling Pure Heavyweight Champion is. And Red Wing wisely puts the boost at Kieseman. Red Wing wants that title shot. Now, oh, Kieseman's got a tall order. You gotta wonder where Kieseman's mind is at this point. Is he focused on the big Red, big red Wing? Is he thinking about that investor? Is he thinking about Commissioner Countryman? 
You know, even with that impressive drop kick, Craig Keesman cannot take Red Wing off his feet. He knocked him out of the ring and he landed on his feet. What a dive by Keesman. Takes out Red Wing's enforcers. Of course, diabetes could have started taking out Skyler Pierce long before that, that Craig Keesman dive. Keesman rolls him, er, uh, rolls it in the ring, followed there by Red Wing. The fans are starting to get behind Keesman here. You gotta wonder. Look at, look at the ferocity and the strength and the force that Nate Red Wing throws Craig Keesman into the ropes with. Nate Red Wing's one of those guys that I saw day one step into a wrestling ring. And I instantly knew he was going to be a star. He has that it factor. But the fact that he has lined himself with a Skylar Pierce just sickens me. This guy could get it done all on his own if he chose to. Come on. Ah, Keith's been trying to whip him across the ring. You're not going to one on throw a guy like Nate Red Wing. Oh, now come on, referee, turn around. J.D. Riggs get involved. He has no business being at ringside. I didn't see his manager's license before this show. He's not a manager. He's a personal bodyguard slash assistant for our future 3XW. Now why the hell does a guy that's 350 pounds and built like Nate Red Wing need a bodyguard? There's always somebody bigger and badder out there. Nate Red Wing has taken all precautions. I'd be hard pressed to find a guy bigger than Red Wing. Oh, what impact! Look at the oh, height! Oh, Look at the power! Look at the strength of Nate Red Wing! Nothing against Red Wing. The guy's got all the God gifted talent and ability in the world. But the fact that he needs to lower himself to these sort of tactics to win a match is just sickening. Now, come on! Come on, referee! Look, even Skyler Pierce is getting a slimy boots in on the action. There's more than just a payday on the line right now. It was announced previously before this match started for a title shot next month at the 3X Wrestling Pure Heavyweight Champion. That's right. And in three months of being with Skylar Pierce, Nate Red Wing is going to get two title shots. Now how can you... How can you argue with that? That's yet to be determined, Brady. Kieseman could still rally back and win this. Oh, I've already penciled Red Wing in for next month. Yeah. That's how confident well, you know I am. What they say about pencils? They have erasers. Only a two count there. A very lackadaisical cover from Red Wing. Picking Kiesman up. Wow. Got him up high up overhead. Gorilla press. Kiesman fires out. He's got to get some momentum going on his side. You know, normally those double axe handle chops of Craig Kiesman take men down over and over. They just slid right off the chest of Nate Red Wing. He didn't even budge, let alone go down. Got him up in a big choke. Kiesel with a double chop, finally gets the big man off his feet. He's got to capitalize. Let's go for that clover, set up for some kind of clover leaf here. Can he get the massive Jenny red wing turned over? He's doing something here to help out his man. Oh, now come on here. Come on, referee. Red Wing hits his own man, knocks him off the apron. Red Wing screaming, you have to help me here. Come 
Sasha and Countryman throwing the two big men out. You Slow can't over do that. No you got it. And no, it's no, over. no, no, no. Commissioner was distracting Nate Red Wing. He was You're taken. You're distracting Red. Yes. Yes. He was thrown out Red Wing's goons. As announced by the commissioner, he left a shot in the women's wrestling year wrestling championship in March. Man, I can't tell you how excited I am for my good personal friend. Ryan Slade in his new uncensored segment here in 3XW. I was talking to him backstage, and man, I can't, I can't tell you because I don't want to spoil the surprise that he has planned for us tonight. I'm sure he's got something up his sleeve. Ryan Slade obviously took exception to what happened between Jimmy Rockwell and Mad Dog McDowell last month. Claiming that Mad Dog intentionally hurt Jimmy Rockwell, and I don't buy that for an instant. Me and Mad Dog McDowell, great friends inside and outside of this business. I would never begin to think that Mad Dog would intentionally hurt himself or hurt anyone. Ravishing Ryan Slade. He shops at the same clothing stores I do. Thank you. JC Penny. Express. Oh, this is the very first, the premiere episode. Of Douchebag. That's not what it's called. That's not what it's called. Now, this is my talk show. Douchebag. It's, it's not douchebag. Now, this is my talk show. These fans showing no appreciation. Well, right, why should they? Uncensored with Ryan Slade is the name of the talk show. Thank you. Now, since I'm doing a talk show, I have my production agent here. My, that's not her name at all. This very talented Charlie. Wow, an insult to a former tag team partner. Yep, the guy who couldn't right. carry the jock strap of Ryan Slade. Mad Dog McDowell, the first guest of Uncensored with Ryan Slade. And he better treat this as the privilege and as the honor that it is. How is it a, look at the difference in the chairs at this point. Ryan Slade is a huge mega superstar. Mad Dog McDowell is, well, he's a house pet. Mrs. Douchebag, got you something. Yeah, there you go. That's not a nice thing. Slade with a gift for uh, Mad Dog. $20 says it's a dog bone. You already know, don't you? Oh, it is! Yes! <laughs> hey, where's my 20 bucks, though? Uh, we didn't shake on it. You like it, right? Okay. No, 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 Oh, now come on. Mark said in the very low cut chair. Well, what's with the papers? Obviously, this is designed to insult. He, doesn't, he doesn't want the dog to have an accident. Are you doing 
alright! Dogs are prone to accidents, especially if they're not housebroken. It sounds like you've got some fans, man, dog. The acoustics in this place, right? Alright, now, uh, we've, we've known each other for a while, right? Yep, okay, now, uh, how many of you guys here that are sitting down tonight were here last month? You were here last month. Now, now, Tommy, who did you wrestle last month? We didn't wrestle. Jimmy Rockwell. You guys know Jimmy Rockwell? They don't like Jimmy Rockwell. Now, I'm of the understanding that you don't like Jimmy Rockwell. Oh, now, come on. Me and Jimmy's got a little history together, but I don't have anything against the guy. But uh, he's kind of followed his own path. He doesn't really come to the you know? Right, yeah. That's fair, but, but I, I think that you do have something against this guy. See? Oh, no, I knew exactly where this was going, and Mad Dog okay. McDowell had nothing to do with the injury to Rockwell. was able to jackknife the arm over the top rope there. Uh-oh. See, that's why you don't get flashy. We saw what Adam Pierce did here last month. Oh, what a slam there from that dog. Now that looks like a very injured Jimmy Rockwell, Mad Dog. You know, I, I gave him a couple of chances and he kept high facing, high facing me in the face and that's like, I don't know what dogs are we going to take so much for it, bikes. Yeah, fair enough. Now, for you guys to be trying to haul, Jimmy Rockwell isn't wrestling anymore. Jimmy Rockwell is hurt. He has an injury that prevents him from wrestling. Courtesy. obtained by this man. Mad Dog McDowell. Oh, he suffered an injury off of a step he made in the ring. Accidents happen. You don't hurt someone. You don't put them past being able to make a living. You don't put them out of work. That wasn't intentional. Now, now come on. Exactly. And Jimmy Rockwell had an accident by an accident. with Mad Dog. It's part of the business, Brady. You and I, I both can know. speak from experience. Mad Dog McDowell has hurt me on several. Oh people. come on! Just last month you were talking about how Mad Dog's never beat you. He's he's never beat me, but he's hurt me. That wasn't intentional. That wasn't intentional at all. He he hurt a guy that does not even wrestle. Austin happened to be there and I actually knocked him in and I helped him back up, you know. 
Yeah. 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 All right, that's fair, that's fair enough. But for you guys that don't know that, this, this was an Air Lanes where uh, 3X Wrestling does their pay-per-view party. So if any of you guys like those pay-per-views they put on TV, you can join 3X Wrestling there. Now, you're not a mess. It's just the way you wrestle. It's not that you're a walking accident waiting to happen. That's right. Mad Dog has obviously had enough. All right, okay. You guys seem to think I'm some kind of bad guy here, right? All right, all right. I mean, Jimmy Garoppolo was a friend of mine. What? We came out to this together. We've been, we've been side by side from day one. So let, let me ask, let me ask some people in the crowd here a uh, question here. Ask me. Now, now let's say uh, you have a loved one, and uh, let's say there's a neighborhood dog that injures that loved one. Okay. Let's just let's put this in perspective. Let's say let's say there's a neighborhood dog that hurts someone that you love. I mean, how would you respond to that? Put the dog down. Okay. Oh now come on. So in other words, in other words, you punish the dog. Is that right? You punish the dog. Come. Oh, come on! You knew this was going to happen! It wasn't malicious. It wasn't, it wasn't out of L spite. It was an you know, accident that you and I both know happens when you step inside the ring. You know, I knew that was going to happen to Mad Dog, and it was still great watching it. Oh, who's this? It's somebody that's putting their hands on Ryan Slade that should... She is not happy. It's one of the many women of Ryan Slade, that's for sure. That's who that is. And she just and slapped she does the not want a dog a, with You her do man. not want to slap the dog. Oh, Slade with the bone. Now come on. That's what you do. This is how you train a dog. Now, he's not... <laughs> He's beating him with his own bone. Come on, someone's got to step in. We need some officials out here. Someone's got to step in here and end this. Ryan Slade is doing what he can for his good friend Jimmy Rockwell, who isn't here to defend himself because he's laid up at Because home. he had an accident. Ask Kevin Nash what it feels like to step wrong in a ring. Stuff happens in there. Jimmy Rockwell has a baby on the way. He needs to work. Mad Dog McDowell is costing him money. None of this favors Jimmy Rockwell. None of this helps him and his child and them going forward. It helps Jimmy Rockwell mentally. He feels a little bit better knowing that one of his now, good friends now, come on. has his back and stuck up. I know Jimmy Rockwell. He would have nothing to do with this. This is all about Ryan Slade trying to get his name back to the center of what's going on here in 3X Wrestling. As well he should. The guy's an Adonis. Look at him. Look at the company he keeps. Those beautiful women in the ring. A close personal friend at Brady A. Desire. The man is a star. Not only in 3X Wrestling, but in the city of Des Moines. Pounds. All the way from London, 
Reginald Stevenson the third, a newcomer here to 3 Express, and we've seen him a few months here. This guy's got a huge upside, lots of potential, itching to make a name for himself here at 3XW. Yes, he is. And the one thing that I know about Reginald Stevenson is he's a big Manchester United fan. I like him already. It is great to see Devin Thomas back in the 3X Wrestling Arena here. This guy has got a huge upset. Look at that, the physique of Ewing. To coin a phrase, the total package is Devin Thomas. You know, to be honest, I didn't even know Devin Thomas was gone, but I will tell you, while I'm not a fan of Devin Thomas or the choices he makes, you are correct about his physique. Devin Thomas, once a member of the defunct Rage Brigade, he quit drinking the Kool-Aid a lot earlier than some of the rest, including John West. Here we go, Bell's underway, our first matchup here tonight. Connor and tie up. Devin Thomas with the side headlock, and Brady, who do you get the strength advantage to in this matchup? Both guys are very strong. I, you know, both guys are very strong, and appearance-wise, I would have to give it to Devin Thomas. I mean, the guy is a little chiseled there. Devin Thomas very chiseled, but uh, you and I both know Reginald's got that deceptive strength. Well, yes, Brits are known for their uh, their their uh, deceptive strength. Deceptive strength. Just ask Winston Churchill. Oh, standing side suplex. Reginald, a suplex master in that ring. He told me every suplex is an English suplex. Nope, every suplex. Every suplex. Thomas trying to fight back, firing out of that headlock. Shoots Reginald off the ropes. Oh, what a shoulder tackle there. Thomas up and over, drops down low. Catches them right in the most with a drop kick. And you know how Brits go, that could have done any damage to those teeth. Oh, running forward into the corner. Snap bears him over. Oh, what a spinning shoulder tackle there. No, oh, only a two. You gotta be impressed with the flurry of offense there from Devin Thomas. Yes, Devin Thomas was delivering some vicious elbows and I can speak from experience, those are not fun to take. Reginald wisely taking a breather out there on the outside of the ring. Which he is afforded, he does have a 10 count to get back in. <laughs> Misses the elbow, trying to catch Thomas coming in. Thomas goes up top. Brings the axe hammer down. Only a two count there. I mean, a win here from Reginald Stevenson would impress a lot of people at the 3X Wrestling locker room and management. Oh, standing side suplex. Yes, if, if Reginald Stevenson were to win, a, a, that would be a tremendous upset in my book. You know, like I said, I'm not a fan of Devin Thomas, but the guy is a tough competitor and he has some big victories here in 3XW. Reginald working that waist lock, wisely putting the shoulder right in the small of the back of Devin Thomas. Of course, our, my former broadcast colleague, uh, Todd Countryman, would call that a reverse bear hug. I believe Reginald Stevenson calls it an English bear hug. An English bear hug. Wow, well, catches Thomas coming up. And there, a traditional bear hug, if you will. Reginald using his size advantage right now. Trying to slow down Devin Thomas. Oh, forces him back into the turnbuckle.
Reginald, Reginald Stevenson is talking some trash to Devin Thomas there. Oh, come on, referee, you gotta step in there. That's an illegal move. What's illegal about it? He was on the ropes for far longer than a five count. Well, I didn't see the referee count to five. Oh, he should have been. Not only a two count throw it off the scoop slam. Reginald Stevenson has the advantage. He needs to capitalize it on it right now. For once, we're going to agree there. He's got to stay. He's got to. <laughs> the referee admonished throwing Reginald about using the hair there. He's trying to pull the ref's hair. The ref has none other than if you cap the stuff on his chin. Ah, Thomas firing back now. Forearm shot there to Reginald. Oh! That had some power. He <laughs> completely knocked Devin Thomas out of the ring. Flipped him inside out, out of the ring there. Now Reginald, his inexperience is showing right now. You gotta stay on the man at this point. Irish whip or English, English whip. whip into the corner there. Oh, Thomas ducks, rolls through. Oh, what a clothesline. Standing leg lariat there. Thomas gonna suplex the suplex master. Floats over to a pin. Oh, only a two count there. Brady, I gotta give it up for the guts of the newcomer. Yes, but he, he has got to stop the momentum of Devin Thomas. He cannot let him get on this roll, otherwise the match will be over. Thomas going up top, he is known to fly. Oh. Reginald wisely must have done some tape studying to prepare for this match. Cuts Devin Thomas off at the pass. Just like the New, Engl New England Patriots cut Seattle off at the pass at the Super Bowl. I won $4 on that game. <laughs> If you followed me on Twitter, you'd know that. I think we finally started following each other on Twitter. Thomas able to fire it off. Sends Reginald down. Reginald going for a superplex there. Thomas is up top. He's over that swan town. Oh! He got all of it. Could be over right here. Three count there. And Devin Thomas wins the match with that swanton bomb. We weighed in. Two hard three pounds from Atchison, Kansas. The King of Hell. Brandon Bennett! Brandon Bennett making his way to the ring. This guy has looked very impressive as of late 3X Wrestling. But arguably, this is his toughest test to date. And a former, I mean, Devin Carter's done it all in 3X Wrestling. Pure champion, heavyweight champion, tag team champion. And while this might be Brandon Bennett's one of his toughest tests, don't forget he's been in the ring with me. Delicious Devin Carter, a seasoned veteran here at 3X Wrestling. Like I said previously, this guy has done it all. And you know, he's just aching to get back into that 3X Wrestling heavyweight title picture. You know, in all the years I've been here in 3XW, I've, ha I've had one question that's never been answered. Why do they call him delicious? He's Look at the man, there's nothing. I've been in the ring with the man. There's nothing delicious about him. The man does sweat a lot, so I assume that's what you're talking about as far as being in the ring with him. But DC, it's, you know, his, his he's got a very nice beard. His, his wife thinks he's impressive. very delicious. His accolades are impressive. 
but I don't find anything delicious about the man at all. A handshake to start the match, which we have never seen in a Brady A Desire match. Why would you? A show of sportsmanship, a show of respect for the caliber of athlete you were in there with. You want to earn my respect? Do it in the ring and show me you're better than me. Brandon Bennett, oh! Doug Sutter, he's going right down to the lake there. It's going to be a smart strategy. you got to take the bigger athlete off of his feet. Oh, and see, to your credit right there, the sign of respect. That's right. You get the big man down, you have to keep him down. You have to be aggressive. That could cost Brandon Bennett later in the match. Oh. There you go. Devin Carter, obviously, he's going to try and slow this match up down. Brandon Bennett, the quicker of the two competitors. Very wise there with the standing side headlock, Devin Carter. Wrenching, working him down to the mat. Duh. Bennett trying to fight out there. Carter just holds on to it, gripping tightly. Notice the hand placement of Devin Carter right along the ear and the temple of his opponent. You and I both know how much that hurts. Oh, yes. Yes. I actually have some torn cartilage in my ear from, from all my years of wrestling. Carter working that side headlock there. Oh, Bennett wisely counters into his uh, head scissors there. And wisely, look at how he turns into the push up position, applying all the pressure he can onto the head and neck area. Carter able to power out of it. Back to that standing side headlock. Moves him over again. Burnett trying to fire it off, get a few elbows going. Oh, standing shoulder tackle there. Carter off the ropes. Ah, uh, oh, and Carter just shows a size advantage right there. Blocking the hip toss, delivers a ferocious clothesline, Brady. Yes, it looked quite deliberate. Devin Carter trying to get the crowd behind him, feeding off the audience here. Oh. And wisely, Brennan Bennett goes back to working on that leg. That's right. Oh. DDTing the leg there, working. It just jams your knee. Step over toe hold there, shades of uh, uh, Jay Briscoe at this point. You know, I think Brandon Bennett learned from earlier in the match when he, when he gave Devin Carter that, that show of respect. Because as soon as he got him down this time, he went right to work on the leg. No, oh, Carter able to fire out there. Still the size advantage, though, of Devin Carter playing into his strengths. Brandon Bennett, a huge Tulsa World Head Scissors. Only a two count there. Right back on the leg. Look at that. Very, it's very smart ring work there by Brennan Bennett. He apparently has been uh, doing a little uh, tape studying in the best of Brady A. Desire. Yes, yes. And I don't blame him. You can learn a lot. Although he maybe he hasn't been watching too much of your matches. He took the high road there and didn't try to work the yeah. man's knee around Nothing the road. Nothing good could come from that. See, what did I tell you? No. Oh. End of the buckle there. Apparently he hasn't gotten to the volume entitled... Uh, Win when you can, lose when you must, but cheat always. 
straight out of the uh, Purity Desire handbook there. Oh, only a two count. I mean, if you had a box set, that would <laughs> that would get its own disc. It, it has its own disc. Available, I'm sure, on your uh, at your Brady a Desire through your, through your Twitter, Twitter page, through yes. your Twitter page. Thirteen discs of Brady a Desire. Thirteen One for discs. every year I was in the business. Carter off the ropes. Oh, what a sit down! I have never seen Carter hit that. Carter point on all the stops here. Only a two count. You gotta wonder if there's a stitch of urgency. Oh! Went to the well one too many times. You gotta wonder if the, the stitch of urgency is there, Devin Carter, with that hurt knee. I've never seen him try to attempt a senton in any match, let alone two. Bennett fires up. Oh, big splash in the corner. Then it's taken away the momentum from Devin Carter. He's got to stay on top. He's got to capitalize. Fire up again. Oh, Carter catches him. Got him in a bear hug. You know, that was something I learned very early in my career is you cannot go to the well one too many times. Both of these men did that, and both of them paid the price. Back-to-back -back moves. We need to see your equation as far as the... Oh, Shining Wizard! He needs to cover him and it's over right here. Oh, the a two count. Oh. That hurt shoulder though. Look at Brandon Bennett is holding that left arm down. Was unable to apply a lot of body to body pressure. Bennett, oh, he's going up top. I don't know how wise that is off of this injury that he's, like he's got to suffer something. Carter, oh! Like you had touched upon earlier, Brady, working on that knee. Carter caught him, but his entire strength and weight just buckled under that hurt knee. Inverted figure four. Brandon Bennett with a very unique take on a classic. Carter, oh, Carter's able to get to the ropes. Then it needs to pull him back to the center of the ring and reapply that move. Carter into a small package. And that's all she wrote. Just like that, Devin Carter able to pull off the win. Devin Carter pulls out the victory, and you gotta think that he's trying to get some momentum going, get back into that 3X Wrestling Heavyweight Championship picture. Yes, well, he is in the weight class, that's for sure. <laughs> One action we saw there, off the chain action, you were only gonna find here, right here on 3X Wrestling's All Stars of the Midwest. And speaking of action that you only find here, what a show we have for you next week. Two huge championship matches as the Wang Chung Warriors take on the King Brothers who are in possession of the tag cha championship belts but they are not the champions. They got the gold. I mean, I would I would call them champions. They didn't get the pinfall victory as of yet. We'll see what happens next week. Also, the championship belt here, 3X Wrestling Heavyweight title on the line as Jeremy Wyatt hopes to continue the momentum that he's got going in the year of the Rebel taking on Rory Fox. Yes, um, and who dubbed it the Year of the Rebel? Isn't it the Year of Desire? Or the Year of the Tiger or something? We'll hopefully get all this figured out and some more answers next week. Hey, man. Hey. Good job tonight, buddy. Can't win them all. It's all good. We got them next time. Yeah, who'd, uh, who'd you beat? 
Some British man. Some British, some British man. Yeah, from the Queensland or something. It's okay, you know, because well, I mean, I, I'm all about quantity right now. Quality is coming. Quality is coming. Yeah, it's, it's okay. what they're giving me, so I'm gonna beat them. That's that's what well, I do. I've lost to two straight sets of incredible quality. Rick, Rory Fox, former three X champion. Mm -hmm. Delicious Devin Carter, former three X champion. Good man. And and you've beat a British guy. Hey man. They've only had me back for a little bit. They're giving me I some samples been here they gave for a little bit. bit. Yeah. Well, Come on. Oh, well, okay. How about this? Let's put quality and quantity together. Get this. Two out of three balls. You and me. Loser has to buy his zombie burger. Two out of three? Okay. Three out of five. Do you want to, do you want to extend it five out of seven? No. Two out of I three should only need the two. Okay. Oh, huh. <laughs> you got a deal. Zombie burger? Zombie burger, sir. All right. My tastes are expensive at zombie burger. I like the spike shakes. Oh, that's great, because I'm all for the triple shot. All right. All right, man. See you next month then? Yeah.